Hey guys, Luigi Taco here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum. In the last episode, we... Uh, I forget. Oh yeah, uh, we caught Ursaring. In this one, we're going to be facing... A boss? Well, actually, we've seen a bunch of baldies already, so... You gotta expect that... Their boss is going to be here. And where he is, I don't know. Oh, here he is. Hello, Gonzap. How are you? And yes, Gonzap is the head of the Snagum Hideout, as we learned earlier. And again, just normal battle music. I really don't know why they don't add the boss music. Anyway, um, I highly suggest bringing in a Psychic type and an Electric type. Luckily, I have Espeon and Ampharos on my team both in the 60s now and so that'll make this fight so much easier so yeah uh, Breloom fighting and grass type and then Machamp is fighting type so Psychic can basically just kill both of these guys oh he has a Grand Bull too right oh well that won't be that bad and his Intimidate doesn't do much, seeing that we don't even have any physical attack moves. Oh, uh, that's okay damage. Now be paralyzed. Oh man. Ooh, hyper Beam. Oh, that's not gonna be... That's gonna be horrible. How do you do that much? I thought... Doesn't he have, like, terrible special attack? Oh, that was unfair. Jeez, let me just bring out Hariyama. Hariyama. He is level 59 still, almost 60. And let's take out this Machamp. Die. Alright. And then this Gramble will probably go down. Man, Hariyama needs so much experience to level up. Oh, cool, so both... Oh man, I love Crawdon's Cry, he's like... Or something. I don't know, but it's just cool. Ramble's using bulk up, okay. Hopefully... Wait, wait, Crosstop missed? Oh, that sucks. Dang it. It's using X attack, but... It's just gonna die this turn, so I'm not... Not really seeing any point to using that. There's, uh... uh just a fun fact. In Pokemon XD, in the Snagum Hideout... There's this one room where a uh, Snagum member, he's interviewing a, just this random old dude about coming into Snagum Hideout, and if you fight the guy, he has, he has like a level 52 Crawdon, and then all the rest of his Pokemon are just level, low level 40s or level 30s, I forget. But it is so unfair. They just, I don't know if it was a glitch or something. Or just bad programming, but it was so messed up. Like, that thing is giving me trouble every time, and... I finally beat it with my Jolteon that I just completely went all out on training. It wasn't very pretty, so... That's all I really have to say. This is probably going to be short a short episode, because... Next time I'm really looking forward to showing something that actually really I think will be done in about three more episodes after this cuz really we don't well okay well I'm not gonna show Mount Battle okay that didn't do too much hopefully this won't kill it ooh thank god it just hung on then Armaldo is probably gonna die with Cross Chop. And Gyarados is dead four times with the stab bonus. It's. I don't know how powerful. Ooh, and here he almost level 60. That's nice. So yeah, um, Mount Battle, I'm. I've decided I'm not gonna show it. I'm just going to, like, put on screen the rewards that you get and. Yeah, maybe the level cap for each area. But really, showing it would take. Quite a few videos. 
So yeah. And we beat Gonzap, and he gives us a good amount of money. Six thousand bucks. As you can see, so hopefully, something on the table is shining. Shiny table appeared. And he just casually walks out. And we get the D-Disc. And this is what... This battle... If you want to get all the Shadow Pokemon, it's... Required. Because you need the D-Disc for that. And now that we have the D-Disc, we can go get the L-Disc. Um, so yeah. Oh, and I did catch that Smeargle off screen, as I always do. Oh my god. Ugh. Be right back. Alright, uh, sorry about that. Um, every- every time that you come in or out of Snagum Hideout, one of those guys will appear from the sky. Um, again, the only pur- one of the only purposes of fighting them is to recatch a Shadow Pokemon that you might have missed. But also, I just noticed that they give you a bunch of money. Like, 2,000 per run. Every one of those guys that falls from the sky, they appear to give you $2,000. And that's pretty nice, so... Yeah. Oh, by the way, uh, Merry Christmas to anyone who is watching this. Uh, and if you don't celebrate Christmas, then Happy Holidays. Uh, hope you got something good. And, yeah. And, I don't know if you're all checking my bulletin, but if you are, I seriously suggest you check my bulletin, because that's where I post all my news. Anyway, um, if you're checking my bulletin lately, I did post my next Let's Play. Oh, and we got mail. <laughs> We're writing this and we got mail. That's nice. I don't see what's so funny about that, but whatever. Uh, let's check out our mail. Um... Who is this? Uh, let's see. Uh, I have a feeling that this is Mirror B. Yep, here he is. Wait, why is the UFO so far down? Oh, we're about to see in a minute. Alright, so anyway, if you didn't check my bulletin, my new... My next Let's Play after this is... Pikmin 2. I really love the game, it's been a favorite of mine ever since it came out in 2004, and I think I'm going to have a really fun time with it. I am aware that K-Man Rules 1331 did it just recently, and I think he just finished today, or yesterday, but I mean, still I'm going to do it, because I love the game. Alright, so when we come in here, this looks a bit dark. And you come right here, and you find the Steel Teeth. Now, before we go anywhere else, we're gonna go back up here. Because the Steel Teeth has a purpose right away. And so, yes. Just gotta put in the forward disc. Uh, where is it? Here it is. Alright, so we put that in, and... You know the most amazing guy in this whole entire game? See, you can see him right there, he's right over there by the herb shop. Well, he's the one we're gonna talk to. Yes. He was talking that nonsense, or amazing speech of the century, because he didn't have his teeth in. Harump. Alright. And now... We get... The L-Disc! What? Wait, what's he have to say? Oh, okay. Anyway, um... So we can put the L-Disc in right now. And as L implies, it goes to the left, so we can finally get that item box that we saw... Back in part 14, I believe. 14 or 15. So let's do it. Um, the only disc we have left to get is the U disc, and I am not sure where to get that. But I will find out sometime. And I just think that camera angle is kind of cool. I'll just go over to the left. It's like in the distance. 
Anyway, over here, we can finally access this item box, which has the amulet coin. Now, I'm gonna put that on... someone. Allow me to see, and where is it? Alright, um, it's in my item storage, because... Recently, I figured out that I have too many items, so I think I... I think after this recording, I'm gonna go store them. Okay, and with this hurry up, I mean, it is kind of cool, the camera angle, but still, it does take way too long. So anyway, uh, let's use the D-Disc again, and finally we get to... God, the suspense of going into a dark room. I know, it's just... It's just so great. Alright, let's go down. Put the UFO in the little thing. And... Gigantic doors. And look, it's a Colosseum! Yes, believe it or not, there is a Colosseum down here. There... The, you should do a lot of training before coming in here, because... This Colosseum, there's no pushovers. They are all level 60 and up, and... They are pretty tough, even though most of the Pokemon, or most of the trainers have only about three Pokemon per fight. Um, not gonna, s well, that letter that we got earlier kind of spoiled it, but there are five rounds in this one, unlike the other ones that have only four. And at the end of each round, there are three, f there are three trainers at the beginning as usual, but the fourth trainer of each round is a boss. The first one being Mirror B, the second one being Dakim, third one being Venus, and then the fourth one, I'm... Oh yeah, the fourth one is Deep King Agnes, or Agnol, I really forget his name. And he has level 68s to level 70s, and Deep King Agnes, or Agnol, whatever you want to call him, he has the only shadow Pokemon... He's the only reason why we're coming here. He has the only Shadow Pokemon in this entire Colosseum. Yes, a Shadow Pokemon in a Colosseum, finally. And that is Shuckle. Now, this Shuckle, unlike any other Pokemon in this, is level 48, so... I... You gotta be careful with it. Like, really careful. Because, otherwise, you're gonna have to come back and do f the five rounds all over again... Just to get that stupid Shuckle. And it's only level 48. So yeah, with that word of advice, um, I believe I'm gonna stop the recording right here because I doubt we have enough time to show any of the Coliseums, because they are gonna take a long time. Uh, and also, leave in the comments, should I speed this up or not, because I really do want to show- well, I think I might speed up the first three fights of each round, but the boss, I'm definitely gonna- I'm definitely gonna show. Yeah, I think I'll do that, but anyway, if you have a different suggestion, then just post it in the comments. I'd love to hear your opinions. And so, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you guys then.